Hello gang, welcome back down to Billy's Bluff. It's exciting to be back here. I always say that because it is. Uh, it's not a lie, it's a truth. Right, so we're all looking at the new and improved keyway down here at uh, Cape Hank with all the direct decorations and stuff going. And I'll take you for a quick little tour on what we've been up to lately. But you can see I've added in a little sort of track, running track, bike track around here with uh, upgrade, upgraded all like keyway retaining systems. It's, it's at a different... Whoa, we zoomed in really quick. It's at a different height here, you can see, uh, just with how things are. But uh, coming along really nicely down here now, really happy with how it's turning out. Nothing too crazy and over the top, just a nice little, like, cap, it, cap the ends off and uh, get it looking good. I've added in some mangrove work in there and stuff. But the town's really coming along well, if you look at Camp Hank. Really coming along nicely now. Look at it from this side. It looks really great, I reckon. So right there. The other thing that's been upgraded has been our headquarters. Let's go down and have a little look down here in and around the headquarters. Hey, doesn't that look great now? You can see, uh, we'll get in really close. They've upgraded the gate. The building's had a nice upgrade. The sign here has been upgraded. Uh, and then our car park in here looking really good with all the nice little Gucci sort of uh, brick finishings off going on down here at the bus stop. We might get some nice new buses in. Uh, sooner rather than later, but yeah, coming along really handsomely, uh, I would like to say. Uh, so yeah, lots of work being done. It's all it's all coming up really nice and lush down here. I've actually we've had some of the town industrial buildings start to build down in here, and I actually think it looks okay. So I'm quite uh, quite reluctant to take them out. I'm probably just going to leave them, and vice versa. They're building up along the side of this motorway here. I'm also going to leave those and then we're going to eventually just fence off and retain probably that train track behind it just with some light industrial kind of fencing to just sort of finish that off but yeah coming along really nicely down here there's a couple of things we were going to do i think someone mentioned that we should move these ticket booths down and around and we'll probably do that at some point so yeah that's uh that's going all pretty well money wise we're doing not too bad there's a couple of things i want to fix up before we get into today's episode, and you might have seen by the title page what we're doing today. We're doing planes, people. We are doing planes. So, the other decorative thing I've done down here is the passenger wharf down here, right? We've got, we got a little guy down here with his fishing gear and his little boat doing stuff, but I've also put in some decorations for marina sort of bars, and but it's fenced off. You can't just get onto the wharf from here. Uh, and uh, sort of decorated it all up, put some bathrooms in. Whoops, I'll get, get my camera wrong from uh, Father's Frontier. Got some shops going in and around here, uh, and uh, al alternatively down and around here as well. We probably get some people start to build around here, so I might have to just sort of block that off for my own needs. But uh, yeah, I think that looks really good coming along really nicely down here anyway, especially this bus shelter with all the palm trees going in. Bit of an anchor and our fancy weird looking citroen futuristic buses that are coming in here as well uh, so let's hit the alt g carton to bring bring up that we're bringing in on mats and then we're sending them back out so it doesn't really make sense what's going on here so this stone ship here we're going to manage this now we're going to tell it manage those vehicles no we want to manage the line so at cape hank we're not going to be picking... We only want you to pick up stone. Yeah, okay. Well, then why... Manage the line. Here, yeah, are you taking combats back? Don't take combats back. Don't take those back at all, to be honest. Uh, I'm okay with you taking some other stuff. And in fact, don't take stone back either. I want you to keep the stone. Okay, so that's what's going to happen there now. So we're going to reduce... Because they have their own combats uh, being, just being teleported here. But uh, I really want this train down here to be starting to run full. It's not running super full at the moment. It's starting to get there. But if we just manage that line to do what we tell it to do. And alternatively, uh, is it this line here that's bringing in this? Is that the stone truck? Yeah. So, hmm. Is that truck stop? It is linked up with that over there. Doody, doody, doody. Ah, so that's you. You're taking, you're taking the stone. Where are you taking that to, by the way? 
We're taking it down to here. I don't want you to take it down to there. So we're going to manage that line too. You don't need to be taking stone down there. So at, uh, at lower Cape Hank, don't even touch stone, please. And then here, these guys manage the line. We only want you taking stone. Okay. Only take stone. So hopefully that starts to adjust things around. Yeah, there we go. That's got things kicked off in there now nicely. So we can get nice healthy loads of stone over to the island and we'll see how that goes later on. All right. Gucci. Good. Right. Uh, just to really, we, we only want that designated as a stone line anyway. So we'll have to see how that goes. But because uh, we want to produce our own stone here and deliver it out as we need. Okay. So today we are doing airports because why not we've only done one sort of little commercial or industrial sort of airport at the moment but we want to get some passengers from one side of the map to the other so what better place to do it than the well-established north end up here well north end because i look at it this way north end all the way down here to this south end area where peel point chuck and bay weavers watch and stuff are the hardest thing down here is finding a designation where we can put a nice airport. And I'm thinking we're going to change up these roads right here. That was really loud. We're going to change up these roads right here. We're probably going to change up a lot of these trains too because they need to change up. Um, where potentially, because we've got a passenger service just outside here. So we've got this road we can link up here. I can't, I don't know if I can put the planes over to... I won't be able to do that. But what I can do is I can just run like a little shuttle service down into here or maybe like put the airport in over here and run like a light rail into here uh, to do a drop off to the train station to get people around. So that's what we're kind of going to do here. So let's start off by putting this airport in today. We're going to do that by deleting some of this road straight up. I know people, you're mad about your road. In fact, just get rid of all of that. We can put the road back in later. It's no drama. Okay. For the moment, we want a nice flat area. It's going to cost a lot of money. Luckily, we've got a fair whack of it, right? right? Let's get you like that soft. Okay, so that's the grid we're on as well, by the way. So let's say we're going to go off this grid here. So it looks like our airport may run. Ooh, that's lower too. Do we want to do it that low? Higher would have been better. Yeah, higher is going to be better for this because we can either A, put tunnels straight under it, or B, well, no, I think we can just put tunnels straight under it. Yeah, okay, we'll have to see how this goes. But we can also build bridges over the top there. To land in with where we needed to land uh for the train service right so that's how we're gonna let's see what we can do with the airport now here right oh uh, we've also got helicopters at some point we can get passenger choppers uh which is exciting we've got cargo choppers as well but at the moment we just want a passenger port what's this one here that's a, we're a passenger port here it's quite large right so that's, we could go this angle of the dangle, which means our roads lined up and any future stuff. So if we can get like this in here, the airport right over the rail with a road that sits there. I don't want to chop out too much of that little lake we've got there either. Might just have to have a bit of a, is this going to be a bit choppy while we look at this for a sec? So that could actually sit about there, couldn't it? What about future runway expansions? Good question. Well asked. We might be able to change them around a little bit. I'm going to take that. I'm actually going to take that there. Okay, done. In. Massive big international airport that's going to be really, really nice, especially with the rail running just under it. And then we'll run a nice, like I like to do, big sort of a uh, thick road we'll see if we can get this to work up up the side here this may be a little bit tight i 
Okay, that's good. Keep that running like that along that embankment. And then we'll switch into a roundabout situation. Maybe just take it back just a touch. And we'll slip into a roundabout. I know, roundabouts, right? My favorite, my favorite thing. Uh, we'll put the roundabout like here. We'll give ourselves a bit of room. Also, you probably want to be that road. Okay, so we'll go like that way. And we'll shift over here and do it that way. Lovely. Okay, that's good. Now we can merge you. Take you back just one step. We can merge you up where we need you to be. That's town road too, you know that. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, that's, that'll be fine. Country road probably would have been better, Ham. Yeah, okay, country road it is. Take me home. Country road. We're going to do the same at this end. We'll put another roundabout down this end. Uh, streets. This one, that one, and we'll keep it up here. So we'll go there. We'll go there. Pull it towards us. Move to the right. Push it away from us. And get them hooked up the way you need them to run. Gucci. Uh, then we'll go back to country two lane. Into there. And then that can swing around here like such. Lovely. Okay, and then this can go two lane down to there. All right, so that's the connections there. The other good thing is now we can use this roundabout to hopefully, I don't know if we're going to be high enough to be honest. I really don't think we are going to be. Nope. Uh, right. What are you thinking? I'm thinking I wish it was higher. Right, what if we do this? Okay, come up one. How high do you need to be to get over that? Probably need to be two. You can get one at that height there. Okay, let's try this. Let's go with this one, that one, put it in. And give me a nice little swoop. Can we get a nice little swoop down into that? Yeah, that's not bad, actually. I'll take that. That's actually quite tasteful. Uh, the thing that's not tasteful is our height difference, uh, height discrepancy right here needs that, needs an adjustment. A bit like me, I need an adjustment sometimes, don't I? All right, let's get you the right height of that area. We can smooth a lot of this off shortly, so just give me one sec, because what we might do is we might bring, um, uh, we might have to bring you to another roundabout section just here, hey. So, in order to do this, we're going to want a little bit of that height back here. Let's get in our road. Uh, this one, that one. Okay, let's go. Because you want to come down just a touch, not too much. But I kind of want you to, you have to swing into this. Uh, I'm going to move this. I'm going to move this. Passenger building, and we've got new passenger buildings as well, so that kind of sucks. We won't get to keep the old one. I'm going to move you down that end for us. Ah, uh, the passenger platform's changed as well. Put you like that. Just to give me a little bit more room down here. I have to put. I might actually have to redo this whole station up at some point, but for the moment, right? Let's get this in how we need it. Okay. If you were going to do this like how I want to do it, I'd have the roundabouts at the same points. So you'd have to go like this here. 
And that's probably a touch too. We don't have to go as big. He says trying to make it too big. Well, we could probably move it more this way then, couldn't we? Like here, this side. And move it like there. Just can't quite, I can't, I couldn't quite get the right, right angle there. See if it works still. It does, it's not as nice, I don't think, but we'll see how this goes. Right, take that down to there. That kind of, that still works, okay? That still works, actually. Uh, the trouble you're going to have is, um, let's get this. Doing something a bit different. That's not going to work straight to there. It's going to look silly if we do that. But what we can do is we might switch to just town road here purely because... Uh, purely because uh, uh, we'll get you hooked up there, actually. Right, and then what we can do is we'll designate this as like a little area down here that won't be connected. Take you back to like there, so we can get around a corner here. And then up into here. Right, so that's hideous. We're going to do this instead. Right, and then we'll do that. That's got it looking better. And then I can fill in that because we might get some people build here. I'm actually going to take this around here. Right. Keep that flat. Uh, we might put in just a crossing just here. Without upsetting the track. Yeah, track's not upset. And then you can come back up here. You will go like that. We'll put up like so it's like a bit of an estate. That dip there is ridiculous, Batman. Right, okay, that's got things looking a little bit better down here. And then I think what you can do is you can have the connection go like that. Okay. Right, so that's kind of that set up there for our bus routes. Now we need some bus stops and stuff like that to go in also. So, what are you doing with this road? I'm leaving it for the moment. We're not going to have anything that way because we've got a connection down here. You guys may as well have a connection up there. Yeah, I'm not going to do it for you though. I'll do it later. Uh, right, so truck and... Oh, we're, we're just bus stops, not truck stops. So we want... Um, right, this is going to sit like... Um, yeah, not, not really well thought out, but still at the same time... What I want to do, I want to put some buildings around this little bus stop area to make it like a closed-in bus shelter. So to do that, I want to kind of... Um, Passenger-wise, let's extend you... Oh, we can't. Let's put some buildings on it anyway. Like that. Yeah, like that. You won't get a little one. You'll get a little one there and there. Oh, that's fine. There and there. Uh, I'm, I was considering doing some tram service, wasn't I? That might not be a bad idea, but buses is going to be better for the moment. Right, so the people actually have to walk out and around into there, though. That's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Right, and then the next bus stop is actually going to sit 
just in there or in here. Probably. Here's not a bad option, you know. Mind you, this looks better though if we do this. We feed you in to be like that. There's your crossings to get straight in. And then we can do another, once again, once we decorate it up, we can do a nice little bus uh, terminus down in here. With some like, uh, with some garden decoration and stuff down here, which might look actually really good. Uh, also, for me for the moment, can you get this and give me a bit of smoothage in and around here, just to fix what now that we don't need you doing what you're doing. Okay, I'm happy for that to kind of run like that a little bit. Just smooth off the rough embankments to touch. Okay, just like that. Right. Lovely. It's nice that we can afford to do that kind of smoothing at the moment. Get things looking really good. Okay, so. Next step. Is we're going to need a passenger line from there to there. That's fine. That means we could end up getting a lot more people down on this uh, train service, which is a good thing. Well, actually, it looks like it's got a lot of people anyway. Oh, yeah, it does. Right, we're going to have to ramp up the train sitch at some point. Anyway. So that is the basic airport set up for this way. Let's head to the, ah, uh, well, actually, you know what you haven't done? You haven't hooked that road back up. I don't really need to, but I will. I'll hook it up to that roundabout. Uh, we'll use this country road too. Come right around here, up the back, where we can watch the planes fly over the top of the cars and trucks. I love how it's kind of dug under there a little bit too. I'm okay with that. Right, let's head back north because this one's going to be a little bit trickier, a little bit tougher. Here's the plan. If anyone remembers my Lonely Pines playthrough that we did, we did a half airport in the water, half on land. And then with our retaining system that we use for the ports, like over here, we did it with the airport. And so the, the planes would fly in over the water and land on the sort of half half uh, man-made sort of uh, airport. It looked really good. Once again, I'm thinking of doing something similar, potentially like off this inlet just here or just here. Like this lends itself to a really good port, which I haven't really utilized. But here's the thing. There's landing zones we could utilize in here, but there's going to be some town growth there, I would think. Uh, there's still all that farmland that I was playing with. Um... I mean, we could fly over the back here, but it's kind of meh. We want to fly in with some city views. We want to make this a really spectacular landing area as we come in over all these towns. And I'm thinking, like, if we can just dredge a bit of land off one of these, like, areas, we could land out in the water is sort of thing once again to make it look really good. Uh, the other option was... Square off a nice big bit of land up here and land it on the top. We could land it over the back here, but it's kind of boring. And I don't want to do that. And it's not really near anything I want to do. So this is a little bit of land I'm thinking about pulling some area off out here. So when we land, we can land in uh, out over here. Hopefully avoid some of the towns as we come in. Let's just have a look here for a second because I, don't, I want to get this right. And I want to do it, get it right the first time. There's also this bit of bay here. Now, I like that bit of bay there. It, everything looks really nice down in here, the way it's set out, land-wise, but... Yeah, it's going to be tough. We're going to do it down here. This is where we're going to do it. One last look. Let's just do an overhead. So the planes will come in from down south and probably land in like that over the water here on this corner here. Let's measure up to see how much land we will need for that passenger port to start with. So we are coming in and landing it that way. Although we could take off from this way, might be nicer. So it could actually like land 
I'm thinking here with the train station coming in over the top. So the planes would like land about out here. But you your um your actual you're gonna need a lot of land for that. I am because we have to get the vehicles out to there. Yeah, that's okay. That'll look quite spec spectacular too. Okay, let's get to work. So, what we need is uh, brush size up. We need strength up. And we're going to take you probably as flat as we can. Probably want you to like, be that height. Okay, that's the height we're going to work with. All man-made, remember? We know, that it, we know that this is a thing. We're specifically making this look man-made. Square edges and so forth. We could land it in that way, you know. The way I had it kind of angled down that way would have been better. But this is the way the land's kind of going. Yeah, okay. Do it. All right, well, we're going to come in over the top of uh, Coley Bush, and they're going to hate that in terms of sound. I, actually, all these towns are going to hate it in terms of noise pollution. We might make it so we take off over the top of these towns too. Let's get a little bit up there like that for me. Okay, so that's kind of where we're thinking. It looks kind of funny because it's big square, rectangle, whatever, a uh, bit of land. But once it's decorated up with the airport and stuff, it's going to look really good, trust me. So we want to come in from that way. want to fly in from this way, which means we're going to need plenty of gap. We might have to actually land in from the other way, eh? We might actually have to take off. Yeah, we might have to have it that way. Otherwise, we're going to clip that as we land in. Okay, so give me a little bit of an extension down here. I don't want to go too far out that way. That's the trouble. We'll go a little bit further here just to give us some clearance. Let's see how that goes. Right, so that's what we're thinking. And then for later expansions we can work with that how's our edge in terms of like I think it needs to shift like that way yep. so that's kind of where we're going to sit like there Okay, now what I might do is I might just spend a little bit of time here just plugging up gaps, giving us the space we need and squaring off this uh, this land. Right, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep you out here. And then I think we're just going to extend you just a touch more. Just enough to get our little air, air like warning strips in. A land warning whatever zone in. Right, and that's that. That's that in a hat. Uh, down here, though, we are going to need a little bit more land, but I'm going to do that. I'm going to take just what we actually cause way out to be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, just take what we need. Right, this we're going to make this pretty spectacular looking little uh, land zone. Right, just like that. Bang. Oh, bish bash bosh. Didn't want to do that. Take it back a touch. So it can be really um, aggressive sometimes if, you, if you're not quite careful. Push it back just a touch. What I'm going for right now is I want to send a little bit of a causeway over here. So I actually want to chew that back a bit. 
down here. Get out the smoothing gun. Start just smoothing that off a touch. Cut like that. Okay. Right, let's see how that goes. We might get a nice little bridge straight over there. And then a nice little car park slash um, bus stop just here. So, buildings wise, let's get the bus stop in now. Which is going to sit pretty much like the other one, I think, isn't it? It'd be nice if you could move that building like on the side or something. Where it is, it's kind of in a painful spot sometimes. Mm. I don't want to run it like that. I'll make it out here, but I also don't want to run it. Okay, let's put the road in first because I need to figure out where the road's going to be. So let's get, um, we're going to go with a two lane here. We're going to go with the big one. The big one will fit, you know. Doesn't need to be that big, does it? No. We'll leave some room for decoration out here. Also, do you want to run? Um, no, I don't. We could run two-way roads. But this is the better road because it's got the actual curb side that I want. So I'm going to run the town road on it. And we're going to run something like that. However, I want to run something a little bit nicer if we can. What is your little red? Oh, that's actually, yeah, okay. I don't mind that. Little like red bridge like that. Right, and then you're going to loop around here. You're actually going to loop onto the front of this coastal road just here. I'm going to have to take your house back, sir. Right, let's get you uh, that. The airport drive is like a really nice road along the waterfront there, isn't it? We can just knock you down just pleasantly like that. Who wouldn't want to drive out to this beautiful airport in the middle of the water? Oh, Kiddly Doakley. So, there our airport's set in. Now, when you're going to talk about this out here, we probably need to get in a tiny kind of a roundabout. Although, you don't want the people walking too far either, do we? Yes, yeah, you don't really want them walking that far. Okay, get that there. Get that there. Um, you know, I don't really, yeah. It's, it's a bit of an awkward stop area. It really lends itself to a smaller airport, like a uh, smaller station like that, even though you probably built that too close. These bus stops are just horrible. Uh, yeah, try that again. Let's try that again. Let's try it again. Okay, right. Uh, let's just not put that in. Okay, let's not, let's not put it in there. Let's just do something out here that we're going to know is going to look like some kind of an area where we're going to put some buildings and stuff out here to make it look good. Uh, we're going to have to do that decoration stuff ourselves. So let's let's decide to go back to our 20. Slot it in here like that. Let's make that look really bad. Go to the 10. Can I upgrade that to be what I want now? Yes, I can. Perfect. I can even make it longer. And we've got a connection here. The good thing is I can probably... Just give me that. Give me the small square. Just pick that up a little bit to suit. 
and then we can do things like paint it paint it with the actual tarmac stuff and we can do like i'll do like palm tree decoration stuff around here just to really sort of bring it up to spec and make it look like it's all married and looped up you know we'll, we'll put some assets in like um palm trees like this you know we'll get like a nice sort of um, arm tree boulevard all the way along you know and all the way along here and really get this airport looking gucci and then what we're going to do is we're going to retain this around here again like that but that's basically our two airport connections that we've got up and running so next time out gang uh, we are going to be hooking up these airports with their passenger service and then we're going to be hooking up the actual flight, doing some more decoration stuff. So stay tuned for the next episode of Billy's Bluff. If you are wondering, today I'm doing a double transport fever day because uh, I'm not streaming today. And so the next episode that will be out is the Deluxe Series episode. We haven't done a Deluxe Series episode just for a hot minute, so I, I wanted to get back in and have a go at that. But let me know what you think about these airports. I think that's going to look really good and we're going to have planes. It sucks for Collie Bush, but they're going to fly in over the top of this. They are going to take off and head out that way. They've got plenty of clearance to get over the train. So we're going to get planes over trains, over towns, over cars, over body, whatever. You get it. Anyway, I've been Van Ham. Thanks for joining me today. Where are we going to do a track ride along today? We're going to do a track ride along we haven't done for a while. That is La Billy's Bluff. Actually, ah, oh, Gordon, that's right. All right, here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do the full circuit back to here. Um, so stay safe wherever you are. Stay glued to your screen. Uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you uh, would like to. Consider it. Okay. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.